Welcome to Bungalows for Bachelors. We are going to be finalizing our gravity design, finally. So, what are we going to do for this one? Well, the first step when you're finalizing your design is you want to make sure that if any beams that you've put in, you know where to put them. Um, in this case, we know this beam was supposed to be aligned with this wall. So we don't have to put a dimension here because which just when you go to frame this and set this up, you already know where these walls dimensions are. You already know what's going on here. So you just follow the dimensions on the plan and put the beam where it's supposed to go. If, for example, we had a beam that was switch to green. If we had a beam that was, let's say, right here, we would want to add some kind of dimension to know approximately where to place this beam because it's sort of undefined we could it could be here it could be here we don't really know so when we draw it in the plan to make it work for our plan we need to know about where it is so that in real life we put it in the right spot so we would add some kind of dimension um, so that we could locate it properly and you would you know put whatever dimension you've got there so you'd use a ruler or something and draw in here and give some kind of dimension to, to put this in the right spot so that is what you would be doing, is you'd be dimensioning your, well, I call them variably placed beams, but that's beams that we don't quite know exactly where they go from their position visually. And this one we know it's lined up in this corner, going straight horizontal, so we're good to go. So you're also going to want to remind yourself with, uh, with I call it a post marker, where you can call it whatever you want, but the basic premise is that inside the wall the beam needs studs so what i would do is normally draw some kind of box with an x something like this to remind myself that i need studs in that wall under that beam i call it a post marker um, you call it whatever you like but you're going to want to make sure those are there under the beams if you have a second story and you have beams on the second story then and you have these post markers on the second story then guess what you need to make sure that that wood is solid wood all the way down to the foundation. Remember, we want to take concentrated loads that happen. Now there's, I think in the calcs we did like 1,300 pounds. There's 1,300 pounds right here. If we were on a two-story house, we need to make sure that 1,300 pounds is not like left somewhere. It's like sitting on a piece of subfloor with nothing underneath it or anything like that. We'll have a lot of problems. We want to make sure there's solid wood. So if there was a second story, we take that point in the house We'd copy it over to wherever the second story is, and we'd drop that little post marker, you know, make it a different shape. You can make it a circle if you want to symbolize something else. So, you know, you've got your wall, and you've got the circle mark. Well, this is telling you that, hey, by the way, there was a post upstairs carrying weight. we got to make sure that we put a post in the floor system, and we put a, a post in the wall below the floor system all the way down to the foundation. So make sure those markers are in there so you don't forget those little things. And... Then you're going to go over to where you, if you have an attic access marker here, you're going to look at this and you're going to kind of remind yourself that, okay, I'm making a hole in my ceiling system here. Excuse me. So I'm going to maybe double up my ceiling joists next to it. There's, there's rules in the code about this. It's case by case basis. Double up those joists. Maybe put a single one here. Maybe put a double one here if you want it nice and stiff. But I'm going to leave this hole here. I'm going to frame the hole here. If I, if I forget that and I'm framing up and I just kind of throw my ceiling joist across this, then I've covered up my hole and I can't get in my attic anymore. So it's one more thing to remind yourself to know that that's supposed to be there. So kind of draw those in. Remind yourself that's there. So other than that, there's not that many things. So just kind of clean things up. Make sure you've got uh, things where you need them to be. And that's about it. Next thing we're going to move on to is going to be all the lateral design for wind loads or seismic loads.